everyone, um, today I'm coming at you, um, from, or uh, not from, uh, um, for a review of, um, a QR encoder. Um, this one is by Mobilio Development. Um, now this product comes in the regular and the pro. Um, I will be, uh, reviewing both. Um, and I am basically going, um, well, I'm going to show you both, um, giving me my pros and cons, and kind of showing you how to use it. Um, also, um, this is a desktop that I made, and I'll have a link for it for my, for sizes for your iPhone, um, uh, your desktop, and, uh, your tablet. Um, and so I'll, um, put those in the description. Also put a, um, Let's, um, a link to the two applications to the, um, you can download them from the Apple App Store. Alright, so let's get to it. So, if you don't know what a QR code or QR barcode is, is it's basically, um, a barcode, but instead of a one with lots of stripes, it's a bunch of little squares in a square. This is, it pretty much looks like this. Um, and it can be generated. And, um, there's, like, tons of apps on all phones and stuff that can be used to, um, capture QR codes. Um, now, um, that's basically what a QR code is. Now, this, um, this, um, application allows you to do a couple things. Um, there aren't very, very more, like, um, there aren't, um, very many settings and stuff, but, um, It'll show you what your QR code here, like if I start typing stuff, it'll show it there. Um, you, here you can choose how big you want it to be, your level correct, um, your error correction level, and the color. Now, one thing about color is, um, I actually could not get the color to work. When I did the color, um, my QR code scanner did not recognize it. That may be just my, um, QR code scanner. But, um, that's something to watch out for, because I don't know if you can actually use color. Okay. Um, now let me make this bigger, like this. Um, alright. So, as you can see here, is there is a bunch of, um, stuff here. Now, unfortunately, um, you should just keep it on text, because, let me show you something. So, if we write text, I'm going to go HTTP, colon, slash, slash. The WS, which is my URL shortener, you see this. But now, when you give it to URL, it doesn't change anything. It's not changing the code in any when I change it to anything. So that's just meaning if you do that, um, it's just not doing anything. So you should just keep it at text. Now, if I read this, it will send me to this URL. Um, and that's all because um, I okay. This is another problem that I have with this is if I have some code and I select it and I deleted it well most of the time it will do this but as you saw a little bit before sometimes it does that now if I can text some put stuff here it will reset it um, alright I guess that doesn't work um, now let's say we want to go HTTP um, and we want to go to my YouTube site and we can go to the tube um, by the way you can go to this URL and it will um, give you a link to my YouTube and um, the, also this right here is a free um, bit.ly type URL shortener alright so now we can go here let's say 5 you can export this as a PNG um, let's just go and put this on my desktop um, we can go save it as um, YouTube, save, alright, now we can go here, open this and preview. Um, um, and if we put this full screen, this is the actual size of it. For five, this is the size. Now, unfortunately, I will, um, I'm not going to show you how, like, if it works, because it does work. I've tried it a bunch of times. Um, with different QR code scanners and a bunch of different stuff and it does work. 
Okay. Um. Now we can change this and just changes it a little bit. Just um, error correction. Let's see. We want to change it to like red. You can see that's what changes. And the background we can put to like black. And it does that. Um. Now format. You can just change like the font and stuff. But unfortunately, um, it only changes it here, so it's not that big. And I don't even know if it does change it here. Now, um, there's a link to their website here. Um, uh, their Twitter, their Facebook. Um, this is basically the um, uh, the the quote unquote light version, which is free. Now. Um, now let me show you um the pro version. Okay, and you can do this. Now basically the only difference, um, and I confirmed this with the person who um wanted me to do the review on this, um, the company, is that um the only difference is they um you can export in um EPS and as, um, as SGV. Um, otherwise, it's the same UI and um, there's this is this stuff all acts the same and stuff. Now one thing, um, a couple tricks that um, if you want to do an email address or an SMS, what you can do is you can use a link called mail to. Now we can go mail to uh, Teddy at gmail.com and if I open this in my browser which I'm not going to do it'll open it in my mail client and we can go here and we can go message I mean equals something and actually this is not message this is body and then you can have the and symbol and right now this is just um, PHP right here um, this stuff is kinda like PHP uh, and then you can say and subject equals another and unfortunately how you do spaces is you can do either plus or you can do um, the I think it's percent 20 I believe that's what it is. Another, I'll just do that percent twenty some, thing. and I don't want that capitalized. Okay. Now what this will do is this will open in the browser and it'll automatically put the subject to another something and the body to something. Um, and like I said, the only difference in these tools is you can export as um either and. You can, there's three options to export it, um, and so um, this I think this is really um, a nice tool. And um, now I'm gonna give you um, like a list of all my pros and cons. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna give you a list of all my pros. Um, okay, so number one, and I'm just gonna leave that up on the screen. Um, Okay, so number one is going to be, um, it's a really simple, and this goes for both of them, the free and the pro version. Um, and I believe the pro version um, costs, it's either 99 cents or buck twenty nine. I believe it's 99 cents, but don't, check for yourself. Um, so, um, the pros, it's really nice to use, simple, you know. You don't have to make this yourself. It's just right there. You can um, export it however you want. Um, you can choose your size, um, the error correction. It's really nice, and it's just you know right there. Everything's right there. Okay. Um, now that's not really one pro. That's kind of like just like all my pros together. All right. Now my cons with this. Um, one is that. Um, I think it would be nice if, like, in the SMS, if we wrote just, like, um, 
like a one eight uh, one eight hundred like some like random number like that that instead of just giving this now what happens is if I scan this with the QR code scanner it's just gonna give me this text um unfortunately so I think it would be nice for them to automatically encode it so it would go like this um SMS like that and this is actually how you SMS something like that uh, I just think it would be cool if they did like a, a reject pattern a regular expression pattern so that uh, whenever they have this um, with the SMS in here that it would um, automatically do that and that goes for the email address and like the contact information and stuff just encode it so it's not just the text so um, if I go like well, I don't know but if we go to like a URL, if I just do like real dash tutorials dot com, it's just gonna give that that text. It doesn't know. I actually have to type in like the HTTPS, or you know, like let's say um, an email address. It would automatically put the HTTP HTTP slash slash mail to there, and then put your email address whatever you type in. I just think that would be nice. Um. And I guess that's really it. I think overall, you should definitely um, try these products out. They're cheap, they're nice, they're easy to use. And for me, I got them because they work. You know, for something like this, you don't really need like the best UI or something. You just need it to work, right? Um, so again, I would definitely recommend doing this. Uh, make sure to like the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. You can also um, um, tweet me on Facebook. Um, you can email me. I'll have those links um, in the description below. Um, and you can subscribe if you really like the content. It'd be helpful. Um, thanks a lot. More great reviews, tutorials, and boxings and stuff like that. Um, coming soon. So, um, yeah. Alright. Peace out.